Hello everyone and welcome to a new video where we today are going to talk about the relationship between Kurdistan and Catalonia. Before we start this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. The Catalonian community is located in northeastern Spain, an area which is inhabited by around 8 million people. Just like the Kurds, the Catalans have their own language, their own culture and their own struggle for an independent country. Throughout time, the Catalans have shown resistance against the Spanish authorities, not at least during the Spanish Civil War between 1936 and 1939. In this war, we had the Republicans on one side, which included the Catalan forces, and the Nationalists on the other side, ruled by Francisco Franco in Madrid. Catalonia is not big. Being only 32,108 square kilometers, the country is smaller than present Kurdistan's KRG region. This means that Catalonia would only fill up to 5% of the total area in Greater Kurdistan. The relationship between Catalonia and Kurdistan is today good. However, this relationship was formed relatively late. Catalonia is one of the richest regions of Spain. This due to a robust economy which rely itself on tourism and industry. The region accounts for 19% of Spain's total GDP and more of a quarter than the country's total foraging export. Greater Kurdistan would, with its oil and great amount of natural resources, become one of the richest countries of the Middle East. Not at least since only the oil in Kirkuk would put Kurdistan on the sixth place when we talk about oil richest countries in the world while counting all of the oil in Greater Kurdistan would put the country on fourth place in the world. Even though the conflict of Kurdistan and Catalonia is quite different from each other, the conflict can also remind us of similarities between the two. For example, the similarities between the YPG and the PKK contra the freedom fighters of Catalonia was several times mentioned in the recent war against ISIS. And during the Kobani crisis, many volunteers from Catalonia traveled to Kurdistan to participate in the war on the Kurdish side. Comparing the guerrilla forces of Kurdistan and the revolutionary forces of Catalonia, the two groups have many things in common. They both were considered underdogs in the war, they were both underestimated, had little resources, showed great courage, and were famous for their use of female soldiers. Now, the region of Catalonia voted in a referendum just a month before the KRG region in Iraqi-occupied Kurdistan would do the same in 2017. In the Catalan referendum, as much as 92% voted yes for independence, while in the KRG referendum, the number was slightly higher with 92% 0.7%. And since the two referendums was very highlighted in the West, it was only natural that the relationship between the two would evolve. After the Kurdish referendum in 2017, the Catalan president Charles Puigdemont congratulated the Kurdish authorities for the referendum. During the same period of time, Artur Mas, leader of the Catalan European Democratic Party, also said that he supported Kurdistan's bid for independence and applauded Kurdistan's leadership for defending democracy. In the first and only meeting in 2017, the Kurdish Foreign Minister Fala Mustafa visited Barcelona and the Catalan government officially declared their support for the Kurdish struggle and their bid for independence, while also declaring their gratitude for Peshmerga defending democracy and defeating ISIS. The authorities of Catalonia even named a street just outside of Barcelona Carrer del Kurdistan, which means the Kurdistan street. On a table on the wall it says, a nation in Asia of Indo-European origin divided between Turkey, Iran, Iraq, Syria and Armenia in constant struggle for independence. In October 2021, the Catalan Parliament passed through a vote to officially support and recognize the autonomous region of Rojava in western Kurdistan. 
this officially expanded the relation between Catalans and Kurds from the KRG region to Rojava. 110 seats voted yes, while 17 voted no. One person voted blank. Spain, which Catalonia is officially part of, does not have a good relationship with Kurdistan. First reason for this is that if they would support an independent Kurdistan, Catalonia and the world for that matter would argue acts of hypocrisy since they support another nation's independence but not the Catalans. The other reason for why Spain does not have a good relationship with Kurdistan is just due to the increasing relationship between Kurdistan and Catalonia. It is just natural that everyone in good relationship with Catalonia would come in a bad situation with the occupying state Spain. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't miss out next week's vlog about Barcelona where we will show you all of our projects, Kurdish projects in Barcelona and also check out the previous video where we posted a, a social experiment where we talked with Catalans on the streets of Barcelona and asked them what they think about Kurds and Kurdistan. Every link will be down below and also don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you don't miss any further videos on this channel.